we're going to cover a specific uh, small use case here where we're going to deep dive uh, a little bit and doing some exploring around the setup failed ratio for Microsoft Teams. So we're going to start with uh, that we are currently within the network impact dashboard and we've noticed that the setup failed ratio is actually quite high and this is demonstrated or illustrated here in the center panel. And you can see that we've done demos around this as well, but we can see that we've had several spikes. But what we want to find out is what is really, where are these spikes happening? What country are they happening in? So, because this right now is just viewing it across my entire uh, tenant. So to do that, we want to explore by clicking the three dots to the right here. If we click on this, it actually gives us two choices. One is to export it as a PNG, an image, or to explore the data. This is what we're going to do is we're going to explore the data. So this dives into the Solutions Explorer. And the Explorer is designed to navigate and analyze data. You can do this free form, which we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate in another video. But you can do this by looking at a particular panel. And the first thing it does is actually brings up basically a copy of the panel that was currently being used, including the time frame uh, that was selected. This is what's demonstrated here in the filters and various filters for this panel. But this then introduces our ability to filter. We can add additional filters here, but we can also add additional uh, fields to really get into what's where this is going. So I'm, the question I'm asking is what countries are really impacted uh, where the, these um, setup fails, uh, failures are happening. This is when somebody you know, tries to connect into a call or a meeting. So I clicked on the fields here and it gives us a list of fields and these are all the fields that are available in the view that was designed for this particular um, visualization of information. And I'm actually just going to type in country um, and this, uh, this uh, uh, my, my thing here. So we actually have several country events. So country code for the caller, country code for the callee. And so I'm going to add, by clicking on this little uh, check mark here, I'm going to add this to our data set and I'll apply that field change. And the first thing it does, it just adds it. But we already have an existing grouping occurring for this data, and it's grouping by uh, the start and end, the start time. I'm sorry, the end time of, of each of these of these streams, and everything is based on UTC time. But one of the things is, is I actually want to look at this by country call, particularly in this case, the caller. And so if I click on a little uh, three dots here for this this new column that we've added. I can actually group this and add this group to my visualization to look at the data. So it's gone ahead and it's now grouping all of outside of this. So we have two groups and you can see the number one and then we have the number two. And now we've actually grouped this. This is grouped now by caller country code. Now one of the key things to understand is ZZ is not a country. That is where a, a particular stream uh, we were not able to identify uh, the internet service provider based on the reflexive IP. And so we would categorize those as think of as the other. Um, and as we get more service providers, internet service providers added to our database, these will uh, be updated and so forth. But the cool thing is, is you can see that we've got some great information now that it's actually based on time is now being broken up here uh, on some spikes. If we look at that, now the graph up here has changed. And you can see, you know, here's unknown, uh, Great Britain. Um, we can actually see the US spiking almost to 15% uh, percent on uh, at this top, at this point. Um, you can see here uh, the next big spike. So what we've done is we've successfully been able to uh, break this down and look at it for each, uh, each of the countries based on this time. Now, if I didn't want to look at this time, to buy, buy, um, uh, buy time out first, I wanted to actually look at it. I can drag that column over to the left, and it now becomes the first grouping by, and this end time becomes the second grouping by.
The graph looks uh, will look a bit different in representing the data. Uh, but from here, as this loads up and as it recompiles and crunches, crunches away, uh, we'll, we will look at this on a country caller basis. And then inside that, we'll be looking at it by the time. And you can see now that we have these are the various different countries. And you can see here that we're looking at this particular point. And you can see the graph actually visualize and looks. It's no longer by time of day. It's now by country and inside is the time of day where it's actually grouping these particular uh, events together. Uh, so that's actually uh, some really good ways of actually looking at this. Now I'm going to end this with one more thing. I'm going to put this back where we, where we had it before, where it was by call time uh, and call time and then by the caller uh, country code. And then while that's coming through, we're, we, ha we actually can also take a look and we can change the visualization. Sometimes changing the visualization allows us to easily, maybe easily identify other areas um, that we may want to explore uh, within the data set to better understand patterns uh, down to uh, root cause or systematic or, you know, how big the problem could be. And so here we could actually take this uh, into um, uh, for example, a bar chart here, and that applies automatically, and then we can see this from a different perspective. And these are the call times versus percentage. You can see it actually moved a bit around, uh, and you can see that it does represent a bit differently. So now we're going to pick up on the second part of our video uh, training here on troubleshooting uh, setup and drop failure rates. And so when we look at this uh, dashboard here that we were we were looking at before, we do see uh, a high drop failure rates uh, occurring uh, within the region. Uh, across all regions actually be more specific and we do want to understand which regions are having the highest impact so that we can figure out what could be at the root cause of this various thing. So one of the things is I'm going to go ahead and click on the graph and drill down into uh, this particular uh, panel to start filtering and understanding a little bit more about this. We can see a bit more of the details of what was in that smaller panel. Now we can start by filtering to understand a little bit more about which country could be impacted or is impacted by this. So I'm going to type in country up here to filter by these particular country. And so I've clicked on call a country code and I've applied that change and you can see that here. Well, there are already groupings built into this and right now we're grouping by the call end type. Uh, and so and then we're taking an average of the, of the actual uh, drop rates. Now this is just an average across all the regions uh, and all of the all the poor stream rates. First thing we're going to do is we're going to group these values, which are the country callies. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to add this now to grouping. You can see grouped first by that's a little number one call in type, number two callie country code, and the three would be the average dropped uh, rate. Um, and these are the average. Uh, for this particular region here. We could actually change this to aggregation to look at the max as well, which I'm actually going to go ahead and change here to look at the max. Now, as this is pulling up, one of the things we want to do is now better understand the actual values. And you can see the maxes are actually pretty, pretty specced at 100% here. And if we go back to what we had originally, which is the average, which really looks across all the poor stream rates uh, for this. And so I'm going to come back to visualization because we want to understand which countries are really at the at the impact here. I clicked on the tab and I'm going to scroll down at the very bottom to actually show our legends. And here I'm going to click show legends, which is now going to show these Kali country code legends. And I'm also going to show the data types right on the graph. And you can see the values are shown up here and I'm going to add the percentage symbol because these are percentages. You can see that's been shown up here. Now we can see that there are areas within, for example, Hong Kong, uh, i.e., uh, these are country codes, Australia, and so forth in the US, they have high drop it rates. Here, these are unknowns. You probably uh, typically uh, private networks uh, connections, which we'll explore a little bit in a different video to understand what unknown really means.